Are you ready, Parker? I'm ready. I'm fucking ready. I was born ready, Parker. Let's fuck shit up. Alright. Eh? Oh. Alright. I'm Sir Tap Tap, and it's been a little while, hasn't it? Welcome back to Even the Ocean. Uh, had a strange little bug. Speaking of bug, we're getting some strange frame rates going on there, but uh, hopefully that'll work out. Um, I had a strange bug where the sounds just didn't work at all, so I um, just reinstalled the game and it worked. Uh, not sure what that was all about, but hey, it's fixed. Um, I'm also, if I sound any different, I'm trying out the uh, Antlion mod mic. It's this little, uh, basically, well, it's a it's a mod that's a mic. You uh, attach it to a headset that doesn't, or headphones that don't, uh, you know, have a headset. Or headphones that don't have a microphone. That's that's how you words. White Forge, this is Aleph. Do you read me? Mm -hmm. Loud and clear, Aleph. Oh, hi again, Mr. Mayor. <laughs> I'm here at Borealis Heights. Or Boreas Heights. I haven't seen Paxton yet. Hopefully they're fine. I'm heading over to the power plant now. What's... What's going on with my frames? Where, where are my frames? What happened to them, Parker? Did you steal my frames? I need my frames to play the video games. What's going on? Yeah, that's not right. Um... Okay. Uh, okay, it seems that the problem was in fact uh, being in full screen. Okay. Uh, hold on, let me fix that video there for you. Uh, no, excuse you. Excuse you. Um, fit the screen. There you go, okay. Beautiful. Alright, seems fine now. It's a pile of clumps. I guess that's another dead alien? Question mark thing? Uh, anyway, so I'm using a new mic now. Um, it, oh, does this have... Uh, oh, this has some ledge forgiveness. Good. Uh, there's a lot of, like, really good game design that goes completely unspoken. Um, I've always kind of thought of making, like, a, like a wiki. Like, a game design wiki. Like, I know... Um, TV tropes covers a lot of, you know, game design tropes too, but it's not really a game design resource, is it? So I always kind of thought of making something like that. These marsh swarm flies, but um, wh why would I give you that voice? Whatever, she's just my voice. These marsh swarm... Th 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 this is what happens when I take a break from recording. I'm always super rusty and... Ugh. Yeah, I, I blame the holidays. Anyway. These marsh swarm flies have a nasty bite. I can't walk through a tight-knit cloud of them. Oh, so we have to go through the water. Okay, I, I keep thinking this is like any time in a platformer I see water and I'm like, is this one of those games where that'll kill me or? Ah, I see. New game mechanic as expected. Um, but anyway, yeah, new mic testing it out. Um, it's this thing that you attach to your headphones that don't, you know, come with head or don't come with a mic. And uh, I use a uh, set of Sennheiser uh, 598s, I think? It's you know, it's one of those ones with the weird numbers. Uh, very good headphones, though. Um, well, so you do kind of get a little bit more airtime while you're in there. Um, and yeah, I'm, you know, just starting out to try them out, but, uh, oh. Dang, that's using a lot of CPU. Why are you using that much CPU? That's that's probably why I was having those frame issues. Hang on a second here. I don't know why I said hang on a second when, you know, I was going to stop recording anyway, so you don't see any of the waiting anyway. But yeah, um, so far, I, I'm going to... I'll probably do a little video review later, possibly a written one. Um, how do I... Oh, I see. But how do I get around there, though? Help me, Cletus! Mr. Cletus! Help me. Hello over there! What? Eh? 
My name is Aleph, and I'm... Oh, your name is Aleph, huh? Bet you're pretty happy about that, huh? Pretty cool name, huh? Well, Aleph, can you audition for a live circus? Well, huh? Can you? Uh, hi. I'm here to fix the power plant, and, uh... Ooh, fixing the power plant, are you? I uh, See, I just knew he would have this voice, and he sure does. Big, strong Aleph fixing the fancy power plant, huh? Well, Aleph, why don't you show me what an amazing person you are, really are? Well, um... Uh... Okay. Um... Which button do I press to be amazing? I can't get through the things. M M Mr. Cletus Man, help me. Well, after all you said to me, look who comes back asking for my help. I literally came here for your help first. You got some nerve, Aleph, the power plant fixer. Uh, can I tell you a secret? The secret is that you're a massive asshole. That's the secret. It's the best secret. Huh, me? Wow, you won't tell me a secret? Hmm, of course, my natural trust. Trustiness, trustiness, must emanate forth to casual observers. All right, Aleph, you may confide in old Wilbert. Okay, can you uh, come a little bit closer, please? Nice, the fan is on. Yaps, a set pad, what a pain. Now tell me, Aleph, what is the secret you have to tell me? Just run. Shoot for the moon, and if you'll miss, you'll land among the stars. Where you'll, you know, die horribly. Shoot for the moon? What is that supposed to? Ah, appears to be a riddle of some sort. A parable, one might say. This is like Scooter's punky dad. A p the wise may unlock its secrets. Shoot for the moon could be likened to a goal, a dream. Why am I listening to this? Just go, Aleph, please. Because the moon and the stars exist in the realm of outer space. Stars are not the moon. I, I want to die. I, I, I don't think I want to live anymore after this conversation. They are quite beautiful and worthy in and of themselves. Yes, yes, I believe I have cracked it wide open. You wish to inspire me to become a clown. <laughs> it's clipped to get me random. Thank you, Aleph, fixer of power plants. Oh, uh, you're welcome. Thanks for turning on the fan. Shouldn't you be dying? You've been standing on that sap pad for like a full minute. I'm I'm pretty sure he's just gonna die, and that's canon. I keep getting interrupted about the new mic, but yeah, it's you know it's a little mic that you attach on there. I'm enjoying it so far, but this is my first like real use of it, so I don't have too much to say yet. But yeah, I'll probably do a video on it later. Um, but yeah, they kind of thought of everything. It's pretty nice. It has little extension cord. It's got um, an on-off switch. Um, you always want to have a physical on-off switch for a mic. Um, Anyway, hello. Hey, how did you? Ah, chew. What gives? You came here to avoid the wind, but now it's windy too. Nothing's worth my allergies and a lot of wind stirring up the pollen. Did you start this wind up, Orange? How dare you call me Orange? I'm not. I'm not the Orange Box. No, it was some clown back there. Yes. Ah, clown. Well, that funny face is gonna give a piece of my mind. You can heck count on that. Ah, chew. This is just Jim Bob Cletus zone. That's that's what this zone is. This is also a zone now. Ex excuse me? Oh, okay. I, I thought you had to ride the current up, but whatever. All right, so wind is going to be the theme of this, as I can tell. What is it? I guess that gives you just a little bit. I don't know. Some of these feel unnecessary, but I guess whatever. Don't you wish there was just giant floating, like... Oh, hey, does the shield... Can you... How do I shield... Up. Okay, so the shield does block the wind, but only partially. I get it. I like little sections like that. It sort of... It, it lets you familiarize yourself with the... Uh, huh? I guess I need a key. Uh, familiarize yourself with the thing with no real danger here. The wind is something extra fierce again today. I fastened down my canvas and come to terms with the organic matter that will be intermune. 
mingle with my paint strokes. Leaves, dirt, sand. I, I think I think I like the clown better. I give up the semblance of control. I release myself from the tyranny of purity. Let's let's push. Let's push him off. Let's push him off the cliff. No one will know. No one will ever know. I'm a part of the world and it is a part of me. I can paint no truer expression of myself than one modeled with earth. I'm gonna push him off the cliff. Just just watch. It works well in theory, but it's ruining my brushes. All the Dietrich is working its way into the furals. You're just making up words now, Mr. Trent Man. For the sake of artistic integrity, I should continue working through the physical degradation, but I do not have it in me. This used to be more of an escape, you know, always a challenge, definitely. But that doesn't mean there will be... Does that mean there doesn't have to be an escape? At least a little. For now, it's too good to mirror the degradation of my life. There's no catharsis in the expression. I can feel the tension in the air again. That's that's just the wind, buddy. Oh, Bay Bayleaf. That's a Pokemon. That's a Pokemon. Oh. Did I press the skip button? Oh, no, that was just the end. Okay, so the, I forgot. The shoulder buttons act as the same as the face buttons in this game. All right. He, he wants a Bayleaf. Um... Personally, I uh, prefer Blaziken. Um, Marshtomp is good too. Oh wait, are those? No, those aren't. Those aren't the right gen. I, I kind of forget the middle starters. I think, I think Bayleaf is with. Nah, Me <sighs> Bayleaf. That's gen five or four, right? Wait, no. I can never remember. No, Bayleaf is the middle one from uh, gen two, isn't it? I was thinking it was an. Yeah, it's it's a middle Evo. It's one of those ones that nobody cares about. Poor middle Pokemon. This gate is locked. D d is there like a special cup? Like you know, there's there's the little cup where you have to raise baby Pokemon. Is there like a teen cup or like a middle cup where you have to pick something where like it can evolve and it has evolved already, but it's like you know the awkward middle child. Like, cause cause nobody cares. You know, nobody cares about poor Squirt or uh, Charman or Charmeleon, the the Bayleaf, the um. I can't even remember what some of the later starter middle Evos are, which is kind of weird. The, this gen, all of the middle ones are pretty good, but then the last ones are bad. Um, well, Primarina is good, but but the other ones, um. I've talked about this on streams and stuff, but yeah, I, I, I don't like the creepy man, cat, wrestler, bro, dog thing. I don't like it at all. Uh, please take it away. It scares me. Strange. Some of these plants are fine, but others are in terrible shape. The detris of the cunnilingus of the earth will bring me purity and sobriety. Yes, I must paint. <clears throat> hey, stranger, you here on power plant business? Yes, thanks. Just passing through. We'll sit down for a minute. I got barley soup going. Come on, don't argue. It's too dang windy out to work anyway. Oh, are you sure? Yeah. Hey, do you cook with bay leaves? <gasps> this guy's gonna cook a live bay leaf. This monster! How dare you? That is a real... You, you can't just... They're not... Oh, I'm offended. I am righteously indignant. No, I would never cook a bay leaf. They're pretty weird, huh? Like, if you taste them, they're those bitter things. You have to seep their essence into your soup. Slowly meld their flavors with fire and water. And then you just throw them away. Like trash. Oh, yeah. Throw me away, honey. Mm. Sorry. Could you hand me a jar of salt from the pantry? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is it. It looks kind of empty. What are you saying? Wait a minute. Oh no. Please tell me he didn't. Come on, Trent. I'm gonna tell Vera, Vera right now. Come on now, Vera. <laughs> I wonder why that person was so upset about the salt being gone. I'll be packing my things, Vera. <laughs> He's leaving. <laughs> He's leaving home because he doesn't have any more salt for his bay leaves. Wait, Bay. Oh my God, his name is Bay. He is a bay leaf. He is a Pokemon. 
Oh, hello. <laughs> hey, um, I don't mean to intrude, but are you okay? Yes, thanks, sweetie. I am worried, though. Bay doesn't usually make big, sudden decisions like this. Oh, you mean he doesn't usually leave, like, his home forever because he's out of freaking bay leaves? You know, whatever. Normal things that normal people do. Bay said they were going to leave us. The Trent and I don't need them anymore. <laughs> bay must be really, really hurt. More than we realized. We didn't realize his sick fetish for bay leaves. Bay didn't come here to listen to my problems. What can I do for you? <laughs> Recover. Instant recovery. You know, she, she, she did, like, a perfect uh, parry or whatever. You know, in, 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 bleh, bleh, bleh. an instant wake up. An emotional instant wake up. You know? <laughs> I wish I had emotional iframes. Um, well, I'm actually here to fix the power plant nearby. Of course. Should have recognized the uniform. Uh, well, in these winds. What do you mean, recognize the uniform? Do, do people rec really recognize, like... Oh, you must be, you know, a sanitation worker. I recognize it by, you know, your, the cufflinks of your uniform. Well, in these winds, you'll need to have a hard time walking the main path. Hey, I have an idea. Maybe we could help each other. What do you mean? If you can find Bay and Trent, bring them to the east storeroom. That's just below my house here. We should be able to open a windproof back tunnel to the power plant. They should be around this area somewhere. Can you do that for me? W windproof back tunnel. Why do you have a gate key to their private areas? If you know what I mean. Yeah, I left got Vera's key. Oh, hello, Storyteller. We haven't seen you for a while. Anyways, the East Storm is right beneath my house. I'll be waiting right there. Uh, okay. I guess we're looking for... Hmm, <laughs> the way the power plant is blocked. I should act about alternate routes. Yeah, there's just the, the magical thing. Do not question the mag magical death array. Do not question it. I'm very chatty tonight, I'm not sure why. Um, what's this? Oh, I forgot there was a sit button. That's a good button. Every game needs a sit button. If you're making a game and you can't sit, you suck. You don't like lighthouses? You suck. That reminds me, we actually lost the ability to sit in Pokemon Sun Moon. I was upset. It's like I can use the key very gamey here. But yeah, in Pokemon in XY and stuff, in Gen um six, you could always uh Are you a ghost man? He's a ghost man! Spooky! Um it doesn't look like Bay is here. <laughs> what is happening? Um but yeah, you could always sit in the Gen 6 games, and now you can't sit, and I'm- I'm- It- it bothers me, Parker. Yes, it does. An interesting thing about using this, uh, the mod mic thing is that Parker can't disrupt my mic, because it's just- It's attached to my face. Well, not literally my face, but still. Bay! Bay! Bayleaf! Go Bayleaf! Use Leaf Storm! Yeah, hon? The soup is transcendent! You are divine! You are a literal miracle worker! Calm your panties, Trent. It's just soup. Thanks, hon. All of nature sings in time to the rhythm of this soup. Hey. Trent, sometimes I wish I could enjoy my soup as much as you enjoy my soup. I wish I could enjoy anything in my entire life as much as Trent seems to be enjoying this soup. Huh? Sometimes I wish I could enjoy something as much as you enjoy my soup. How do you do it? Really? Hmm. Is it something akin to the suspension of disbelief? But instead of disbelief, a suspension of the weight of everything wrong in the world for the chance to feel a glimmer of weightless hope that makes it all feel worthwhile? Is <laughs> These people and their frickin' bay leaves, man. You've thought about this a lot, haven't you? Maybe it's something like that. Not that I ever go through that thought process in the moment of joy. I'd like to know what it's, what it's like in your head. The feeling is mutual. What it is like? What is it like to be Bay? I, I think a lot of people on Twitter wish they knew what it was like to be Bay. What is it like to be Trent? And how can anyone really describe themselves? Perhaps only by being close to one another and seeing who they are not. Even if that's true, I'd like some parts of you to rub off on me. Ooh, mood! We can't show that to the children's. 
Maybe we rub off on each other. Oh my god. Calm down, boys. This is this is this is a PG thirteen stream. Or not stream. Whatever. Never mind. It's not a stream, so go ahead. We all have we have all the time in the world, right? Well, except for the part where you die. But yeah. Well, all the time in our lives. See, that's that's my old bay, being a downer, right when it counts. Granted, those could be the same thing if we die at the end of the world. <laughs> goals. Hashtag goals. There you go, honey. <laughs> as long as we take the world with us, it, you know, it's, it's the next best thing to living forever, is to die at the same time as the rest of the world. Isn't that right, Parker? I don't think he agrees. I think he thinks that the best thing in the world is digging into my shoes. What are you doing? Your butthead. I have a little thing where I have I have a lot of shoes and I just stick my old shoes in there and he likes to climb in there. And whatever. Oh, there's my little rave sunshine bay. He just talked about dying at the end of the world. That's not Are you being ironic? I can't I can't even imagine that that artsy frickin' butthead being ironic. Uh, it, it boggles the mind. My mind is now frickin' Peggy Hill's favorite hobby. <laughs> Doesn't look like Trent is here. <laughs> what is with these ghosts? A few years ago, I thought you just did abstract paintings. Yes, concrete embodiments of non-concrete elements. So what am I sitting for, babe? Am I not concrete to you? Ooh, lovers quarrel! Oh, you are concrete. You are so concrete, especially in the pants department. Mm. Hey. But you are more than concrete. You embody things beyond flesh, beyond words to me. I want to create directly out of the aura of our contact. This is getting this is getting lewd again. Calm down. Abstract love paintings. Are you sure that's dignified enough for you? Obey, honey. I may be sisqu squ. How dare you make me read this word? How how dare you? Sesquipedalian. But I am never dignified. Oh, is that it? I was wanting more. I'm I'm engrossed in the absurdity of these human beings. Oh, hello there. It's anything I could do for you. And by anything, I mean anything beyond this the physical realm of existence. Because I do not toil in the mere matters of mortals. I am an artiste. That's right, I say it like that. I'm one of those people. If not, I'd like to be alone right now. Hi Trent! Vera asked me to invite you to the East Storeroom. Did she? That is peculiar. Well, I suppose I'll meet her there. Thanks. I will suspend my disbelief of this soup to go to the East Storeroom. Uh, where's Bay? And don't say Tumblr. Strange, some of these plans are terrible shit. Eh, whatever. <laughs> it looks like somebody like just ran out of water and they're just like, ah, screw it. This is like something that would happen to me in like in like Harvest Moon before I update the uh, or I upgrade the water thing. Oh hey Brent. Or the good bay leaves, Brent. Bay. So so wait. Did I misread earlier and his name is Bayleaf and he's not cooking with bay leaves? Or is he bay and he cooks with bay leaves? I don't know what's real anymore, I'm sorry. I have a headache. Sorry for the drama. It's not usually like this around here. I guess there's no usual anymore. It's fine, babe. Vera asked me to invite you to the East Storeroom. She wants to talk me out of this. Well, I'll go. Well, that was easy. That's both of them. I should return to the East Storeroom now. This does pretty nicely fit into, like, little, like, 15-30 minute segments of gameplay and story. So you're both here. Both. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Well, let's unite the key. Oh my gosh, they have like those lockets that like, it's like one of those heart lockets, except it's a key. No, Vera. I don't think we should do it if Bay's mad at me. 
Oh, because the problem is that I'm always mad at you? Well, that what is the problem? Aside from an uncaring universe in which reality and the abstract are not one, which is our current reality, which I cannot bear because I am an artiste. Quiet, everyone, now. I like Vera. She's good people. We will discuss the problems, but first, your keys, please. <laughs> I love that Trent is always eye-rolling. He's like, you do not understand the trueness of my key. The key is not physical, but it is, in fact, my soul given physical form, which I guess one might say that is physical, but it is still different. Quid pro quo. I mean, QED. <laughs> they, have, they have a triple love key. Oh my goodness. The three combined their keys and went into the storeroom. Did, did I just solve like a lover's quarrel just to get in this freaking power plant? I am I am amazed. Trent's painting of me. This place is like a time capsule. Is that the plan, Vera? To get me nostalgic? To make me play Nintendo games? The plan is that this is the quietest place I could think of. I like Vera. The wind's very strong and incessant lately, and I thought maybe getting away from that a moment could help us. Now, Trent, Bay. You both have a feeling lately to that you want to vent. Sorry, I screwed something up. Lately to vent about each other, and I won't be put in the middle any longer. Bay, I refuse to let you just walk around. Let you just go around without talking things through. Bay! Were you going to leave us and split your reality with our joined realities causing a rift in the space that is our love? I didn't think you'd miss me. Thought maybe you'd miss the cooking or the chores that I- Bay, that is not fair. Fairness is the one true thing in our universe that brings us human emotions such as love. Of course, I would miss you. If one can be missed, in fact, in a cruel and uncaring universe. You say that. You say romantic things. But your actions, everything you really do is meant to drive me off. What have I done to drive you off other than talking like this? You put salt in the fertilizer, Trent. You literally salted our fields. Holy shit, bro! What's wrong with you? Ah, but the salt of uh, the earth. That is not what that means. That is not what that means. <laughs> no, Trent. Salting field is what people did in war to their enemies. That's why our plants are so... Oh, my God. <laughs> that is exactly what the dumb art student would do. Our plants are dying? I mean, whoops. Oh, my God. Why would you not yell at him earlier? Oh, I guess he just realized now because the salt... We told him the salt was missing. How rarely does this dude use salt? Trent! I'm sorry, Bay. I really am. It was an accident, just like the human emotion we call love. You know what you do know? You know that our crops are important to me. You know that I don't like your paintbrushes and the toothbrush holder. Ah, oh, what the f what? You know the Tuesday nights are star nights. Accidents are accidents, sure. But at a certain point, you clearly don't care. I think the star nights one might, you know be slightly, you know, lower priority than the whole killing us. And freaking paintbrushes? It's a toothbrush thing? What's wrong with you? I had no idea all of this stuff was adding up in your head like a big solar-powered calculator of the mind and human ethos. I knew I was forgetting stuff here and there, but you've been so cold lately. Cold like the frigid heart of the universe. I thought you didn't want to be around me, that you were tired of displays of affection. This voice is slowly destroying my entire throat. That is why I've been absorbed in my work. So I became more of a hermit and you got your head increasingly stuck in a cloud. We said I've become more like each other, but maybe being with each other allowed us to become more like ourselves. Oh, you just had a revelation, bro. Phew. This is going somewhere. I was terrified it wouldn't. Vera. Vera. Sweetheart. We'll do better. You're a saint. You know that, Vera. 
Oh, make up with each other, you butts. That's what this is all about. Let's see, Vera's got a good head on her shoulders. I'm like, freaking Trent. God damn it, Trent. I think I feel a new series of paintings coming on. Interplay between natural erosion and personal intervention, contrasting the effects of reductive mock making across different physical states as the paint dries. I'm so glad I thought of that voice for him, because that is just literally him. I need to, like, I, I keep meaning to want to record voice. Like, I have a little folder where I keep some of my, like, voice acting, quote unquote. And I, I gotta add this guy's voice. I, I just wanna call it Trent, I guess. Hey. Go fix that plant now, okay? I'll be working on fixing some plants of my own, if you know what I mean. Oh wait, he means literal plants. Ah, oh, whatever. Hi, dear. Thanks for your help. If you, if you follow this back tunnel, you should come out near the entrance of the plants and be extra careful. Huh? With everything that's been happening, I forgot to mention something. The other day, my eyes were playing tricks on me. I saw some kind of huge creature in the distance. <laughs> you know, just regular mind things. Sounds wild, I know, but I think it has something to do with the power plant failure. So, keep an eye on it. Those are two very divergent beliefs to have. Yeah, you know, it was probably just my mind playing tricks on me, but I think a giant monster ate the power plant. But you know, it's probably just me thinking things. But you should probably be careful. But it's nothing. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Remember, your life is more important than your job. Hmm. Thanks for the heads up. Alright. Power plant time? All right, next time. Oh, hey, little save point. Look at this little simple thing. Pretty. Well, next time we tackle the uh, third power plant. This has been even the ocean.